Hey guys, welcome back to Expo Hub channel. Myself Rakesh, and today we are going to learn one more question. This question is slightly, I would say, slightly tricky until unless you know what are the key words that you need to highlight. So let let me read this question. A developer needs to debug a process based on the orchestrator logs. So he has to debug a process based on the orchestrator logs. Although there are no exceptions in the process, there is no error, there is no exception in the process. The transaction status of the queue item remains in the in progress status. There was no error, there was nothing, and the status of the queue item becomes in stays in the in progress. Right. However, the process execution finished. So there was no error, and the process execution also have finished. Okay. I mean the entire project has run. Since the how, how did you determine if the complete process has come? You know, entire project has run or the entire workflow has finished running? Because since the execution ended, log is present in the orchestrator. So what is the meaning of execution ended? Okay. this meaning if you know then your answer is quite simple so let me first show you that just search for logging and log labels in uipath docs okay just simply type uipath docs logging and log labels and you would be able to find this page okay scroll down and here they have given the um, exact meaning of this for example execution ended or execution started what is the meaning if you find this log entry the meaning is it is generated every time a process is started execution ended if you find this entry in the orchestrator logs that means generated every time a process is finalized that means the entire process has run okay the entire process has completed then if the entire process has completed why the queue item status says in progress right so let's read read through the options status has been manually changed by an orchestrator user no this is the wrong answer second status of the transaction in orchestrator is not yet updated due to connectivity issue is this the right answer because of the connectivity issue did not process that's why the status is in progress no this is a wrong answer reason being the execution has ended they are saying the execution has completed right so this is a wrong answer now the next thing set transaction status activity was not used to set the status to successful or fail okay this appears to be a prominent answer this is the right answer set transaction status activity was because as i said in queue in orchestrator queue you do not have a ai logic uh, right wherein it will automatically understand hey the transaction is complete you have to use the set trans you know set transaction status activity and you know write it successful or fail i am going to show you that okay this is the right answer status automatically changed because a reviewer perform a manual review no no you don't have an option to manually change it okay so the right answer is the third option now here let's learn set transaction status activity okay what is this activity where do you find let me open the ari framework okay in the ari framework go to process transactions state now in the process now any time you come to this state this will be very very confusing so always try to you know minimize and try to expand so that it becomes more sense to you as to what you are reading okay so here look at this try catch set a transaction status okay there is a uh, xml file which they are calling in now if you go inside this okay so once you go inside this for example if it is success if a transaction item is successfully uh, processed then look at this activity set transaction status so here you have to manually uh, enter your message in underscore transaction item status successfully so here i am putting the status as successful okay if it is failed you can also use this options reason you can provide so set transaction status activity has to be used if you are not using 
then don't expect the orchestrator to update it automatically okay this is one of the important fact uh, while using re framework we have to ensure and while using queues we have to ensure the set transaction status is used to based on our logic to set it as successful or fail so this is the right answer so thank you guys for watching it we are going to come up with more such interesting questions and wherever the explanation required i am going to help you with thank you guys take care bye bye